Hello everyone, in today's video I want to talk about one of the three reasons why I don't invest in multifamily units. So over the past 15 years, I've been investing in real estate all across Canada. I've owned properties in uh, Vancouver, uh, Prairies, uh, my own city, <laughs> Ottawa, um, Hamilton. So basically I've, I've invested all across Canada in many different markets. And I've owned townhomes, semi-detached homes, duplexes, triplexes, condos. So I've seen seen a lot of things. And as I was reflecting in my journey, which I do a lot just to learn from my mistakes, I, I thought of these three themes. And I want to share my three themes of why I don't invest in multifamily units anymore. Now, although some of these reasons may surprise you, but I also want to share why I still think uh, if you're starting out in your real estate investing journey, that multifamily units may be the best investment for you. Now, before we jump into why I don't invest in multifamily units, I'll just give you a brief definition just to level set everyone uh, what a multifamily unit is. So essentially, the main difference between a single family home and a multifamily home, well, a single family only has one unit and a multifamily has more than one unit. You could have two, could have three, could have four or five plus, et cetera, et cetera. And another distinguishing factor is that in each unit in a multifamily unit has its own kitchen, has its own bathroom, shower, access to uh, laundry facilities, etc. So basically it's a self-contained unit and there's more than one. I just wanted to do a brief pause here. I want to announce my free resources. Okay. I have a bunch of resources for part-time real estate investors. I create these because I wish I had these when I was starting out in my real estate investing journey. It would have helped me so much while I was like juggling a demanding career, raising a young family and obviously living life. So if you are a part-time real estate investor in Canada, who's looking to buy your first or next rental property, then you definitely want to check out my free resources. It's all built for part-time investors. Anyways, let's get back with the video. Now, here are my three reasons why I don't invest in multifamily units. The number one reason is it's a lifestyle choice. See, when I first started out really early in my real estate investing journey, my second rental unit was a triplex, which is three units in a home. And during that time, you know, I knew I need to buy in a desirable location, which is actually a very desirable location in Ottawa. By beach, I had a lot of it, a lot of things going, but I neglected to look at the way the house was built. It was built as a home, separated into three units. So you can imagine it wasn't super self-contained units. Like there was a lot of noise. They had a shared backyard. And sometimes, um, depending on the type of tenants you can attract, some of them are not always easy going. Some of them don't like sharing their backyard, even though they say they will. Or um, the walls are so thin that everyone can hear each other. So because there's so many different dynamics between these three units, I just felt like for me, because I was raising a young family, I felt like just more tenants equals more problems. Obviously, there's a huge advantage with having a multifamily unit home because you can have more cash flow. If one per, if one unit moves out, the other two units can subsidize the mortgage. But I sacrificed that because in the end, I realized more tenants equals more problems. Even if you get a property manager, I've I've had many different property managers just for that triplex, and it didn't matter. I had to fire many of them because they weren't good enough. And um, over the years, it, I had so many problems with this triplex. Again, more tenants equals more problems, which include which included cops visiting the unit, uh, fights between the different units because they didn't want to share the backyard space. People don't always play happily together in the same sandbox. Okay. I probably screw up the same, but my point is that not everyone loves living together in a small contained space. Number two, money. Okay. So this is a big thing. I don't know a lot of people talk about this, but when you invest in a multifamily unit, it costs more money. There is probably a bigger space for the roof. The roof has more square footage. Maybe there's three separate furnaces. Maybe there's three separate hot water tanks. Maybe you actually even have a boiler depending if well, the size of the multifamily unit because you bought like a 10 unit. So if you think about it, if any of those things break, it requires more money. Okay, so just imagine a boiler. Replacing boiler is so insanely expensive. Replacing a big roof could be, you know, 10 to $20,000 range plus plus. Um, if you own 
many different hot water tanks or many different furnaces, well, all the costs just add up. Sure, you can collect a lot of rental income, cover all the expenses, but at the end of the day, you still need a lot of capital just in case some of these expenses come in and they don't happen sequentially in my experience. Sometimes they happen all at the same time. All of a sudden, your whole roof needs to be replaced, plus you need to replace all your furnaces. So then you could just imagine the amount of capital involved in a multifamily unit. Number three, it's more liquid. Okay, so I know in a hot housing market, pretty much any property will sell. Even if it's an undesirable location, it looks like the house looks like crap, the rental units look like crap, it still will sell in a seller's market. But say we actually go back to a more balanced market, um, even a buyer's market, where the supply and demand is now more balanced, then you could get into a long waiting time if you're waiting to sell your multifamily unit. So when I owned a triplex in this beautiful location in Ottawa, and it was in a balanced market, and I thought, oh, you know, it shouldn't take very long to sell this property because it's a super desirable property. Boy, was I wrong. See, the audience, the, the type of people that would actually look at a multifamily unit aren't emotional buyers. They're not looking to move in and like, oh, this is going to be the house I'm going to live in for the next 20 years. No, these are usually investors who are going to crunch out the numbers and check, does it cash flow? Does it make sense? So that's the type of people you're attracting. And that really limits the amount of people that are willing to even visit that property. So the property was listed for six months. Um, there was only like one offer during that entire time. And of course it was a real estate investor. So all I'm trying to get at is if you happen to also own a multifamily unit in a less desirable location, you can wait it out for many, many different months for a long time because it doesn't attract an emotional buyers. So it's going to stay in the market for a lot longer than you think. But I don't want to deter you from investing multifamily units. This is a personal choice for me because I like simplicity. I'm about being easy going, easy peasy. Um, I've added a lot of complexity earlier in my life. I was able to handle it. Now I'm getting older, I can't handle it. So that's why I don't invest in multifamily units. But does it mean that I will not invest in multifamily units forever? Actually, no. See, when I get older, I can imagine myself, say I'm in my 60s, and I own a multifamily unit that I live in because I would love to have first my mortgage subsidized by other rental units. I'm also looking to downsize. And also I'm probably not going to have a lot of expenses at that time because my kids are out of the house. So I could see myself um, wanting to downsize and live pretty cheaply. Okay. So that's my number one reason why you may consider investing in a multifamily unit. So if you are starting out your real estate investing journey, maybe you led a student life for a very long time, and then you want to actually have a life where you have very little expenses, like because housing expense is one of the is the number one biggest expense in life, then you may consider investing in a multifamily unit that you can live in. I think this is one of the best ways to invest in real estate is actually move into a multifamily unit and live for cheap. Hey everyone, if you like this video, please hit that button, hit it, hit it. So you let me know to create more of these videos for you.